We're studying the methane cycle because methane is made by microorganisms at the bottom of sediments. Methane uh, diffuses upwards and methane is a very potent greenhouse gas. It has the 20 times the potential of carbon dioxide and we try to find microorganisms that eat the methane before it goes into the atmosphere. Money-wise, that counts as a, as a daily benefit for the European citizen, but also climate-wise, because methane is no longer emitted. Methane is used by the bacteria, so we prevent greenhouse gas emission. So also, ecologically, it's much more sustainable. We want to find these organisms because we want to understand why methane is already consumed under the water table and later on we can use these new bacteria for new processes in wastewater treatment systems. At the moment we have to buy methanol to clean our wastewater and on average it will cost about 1 euro 50 per cubic meter of wastewater to be treated. We have calculated that with the new bacteria it could be 50 cents per cubic meter. So, because there are millions and millions of cubic meters of wastewater that are treated, so for every cubic meter, one euro savings, you can imagine that is millions of euros per year that can be saved. At the moment, we are sampling different sites with promising sites where we know that methane is produced but not reaching the atmosphere. So, we are sampling at different points. We bring these samples to the laboratory and in the different reactor systems, we try to mimic the environments as good as possible to give the new bacteria a chance to grow. And if we have enough cells, then we pull these bacteria apart. In the beginning, I didn't realize how important the EU funding was to work with a larger group of people on one topic and to move that relatively fast forward. Now, in a relatively short time, five years, you can work with eight to ten people focused on a topic and it's incredible how fast you can move forward if you put a critical mass of bright, smart and enthusiastic young students together. The intermediate goal is to find the new bacteria, to understand where they are functioning and let's say in five to ten years we hope to apply these bacteria in new wastewater systems which are much more efficient which use the methane to clean our water.